Now to politics. 12 News, your local election headquarters, just one month to go until Election Day. We're getting a clearer picture now of how voters feel about these top races in the state. Our exclusive 12 News, Roger Williams University poll asked likely voters who they choose in the Congressional District 2 race as we head into the home stretch. Kate Walsh joins us live in studio with a look at some of these results. Well, when we're talking about Congressional District 2, it's the race between Democratic Seth Magaziner, who's the current treasurer, and Republican Alan Fung, who's the former mayor of Cranston. Now, a Democrat has sat in this congressional seat since 1992, but based on our latest poll, that could change this time around. The pollster surveyed 254 likely voters in Rhode Island's 2nd Congressional District. 46% said they're voting for Alan Fung, 40% said they're voting for Seth Magaziner, and 9% are still undecided, 4% supporting independent candidate Bill Gilbert. But the margin of error in this poll is 6.2%, so that means it's really still anyone's race. Here's our 12 News political analyst, Joe Fleming. The most interesting thing I find in this race is Democratic voters. Tim, right now, Alan Fung is getting almost 25% of the Democratic voters. What do you make of that? I make, you know, if he, if he holds on to that 25%, he's going to be a decent position, because normally, you know, Republicans don't get a quarter of the Democratic vote. I mean, Seth Magazine is only getting 10% of the Republican vote. After the results of our poll were made public yesterday, the Magaziner campaign released a statement saying in part, quote, the poll shows that by consolidating support from Democrats, Seth will win this race. Alan Fung responded too with a tweet reading, quote, we've got fung -mentum because we are focused on providing relief from the Biden Pelosi Magaziner agenda that is making powering and heating your homes more expensive this winter. Now, looking at this data here, it's also interesting to see that Fung is leading Magaziner by this 6% because that's the same lead he had over Magaziner in the last public survey three months ago. In that time, there have been many attack ads released and increased campaigning until now, but based on the polls, that shows that hasn't really changed much in people's opinions. Live in the studio, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.